NSW, what's something unexpected you've experienced a partner do in bed, in a misguided attempt to spice things up? While I was going down on her, in an attempt to talk dirty she said lick me where I crap, now I have no problem eating butt, but it's about how you phrase it. Slapped me full in the face while I was on top of her, I was startled, of course, I was more startled when, without skipping a beat she exclaimed, breathless and still in the throes of passion, I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else for a second. This is the funniest thing I have ever seen. My friend in high school had a rather inexperienced girlfriend. She assumed that if jerking his dong felt good, that doing the same to his balls would feel good as well. All I remember was the blood curdling scream from the other end of the house as she grabbed his entire sack in her hand and yanked hard. Apparently this was the second yank because the first one had left him out of breath. She, of course, had thought his gasp for air after the first time had been pleasure. All I can picture is the scene from the Polar Express with the reindeer. I don't know if this is exactly what you were looking for, but I asked a girl to suck my balls, and she said okay but proceeded to stick her tongue in my butt. Instructions unclear, tongue lodge in butthole. During lovemaking with my girlfriend back in the day, she thought it would be cute and a little hot to give me a playful bite on the cheek. She severely underestimated how hard she was biting. I screamed out, which scared her, and her unconscious reflex to the scare was to clamp her jaw tighter. I broke the skin and drew blood, but we've been married 12 years now, so, but no more biting. Role playing with my wife. I was a dirty masseurs named Mr. Harden, we have a massage table, oil, everything. I'm rubbing her down, pretending it's a professional massage and oops. My hands start getting a bit close to her naughty bits. Instead of going with it she starts talking about how big and strong her husband is and that he's, me, going to beat my mister, hardens, but for being inappropriate with her, defending myself against myself was a bit of a boner color. She was a bit drunk to be fair. How big and strong her husband is and that he's, me, going to beat my mister, hardens, but for being inappropriate with her, should have slapped your own butt at that point and waited for reaction. She wanted to use tingle gel, the first lot had no effect so she proceeded to baste my balls like a roast turkey. Fast forward 5 minutes and the intended tingle had been and gone. It was now at middle earth burn and I spent the next half hour of our raunchy night with my balls submerged in a sink of a cold water. Tingle gel is now used as a scare tactic in our house, not an incentive. Had a chick slather my chest with Vicks Vaporub when I was sick once and then slithered her mentholated hand down inside my pajama pants. The first moments were cool, and then there was the burning. Had a one night stand with this chick and while doing doggy she reached down and was able to grab me by the balls, and while I'm pounding away she's got a firm grip and she's fondling me, definitely wasn't expecting and it surprisingly felt great. This is one of my favorite things, love when my wife dittles my skittles. I love my husband. But when we're in the bone zone and he's going to town I'll say something like don't stop and then he'll stop and freaking do this Shakira crap with his hips like you like that. No. No I told you not to stop doing what you were doing before. Not for you to try and convince me that your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. He's since learned not to do this thing. But it's just funny that that's something he thought would interest me. This was all with my first serious girlfriend a few years ago. Once. She licked my ear during sex, inside my ear, like, wet willied me real good, I was just like what the frick, flipped her over, pinned her down, licked inside both her ears in retaliation, all in good fun, mind you, giggles ensued, another less harmless time was when she death gripped my penis, no lube lotion, and started vigorously jacking me, I endured it for as long as I could, like a minute maybe, before finally succumbing to the pain. When she was done my penis was badly chafed and bruised red and blue. My penis was out of commission for a couple of weeks. Another time she bit my penis during a BJ thinking it would be sexy. It was not. The skin on a circumcised penis is not very thick. It made a small paper cut like incision right under my glands. Took a good few days to heal. Lastly, she sucked really hard on my testicles one time. 
Like she waa trying to suck a grape through a straw. She sucked it into her mouth and it was like she was trying to swallow it. I'm actually surprised I didn't suffer a testicular torsion or some crap. Because that was more painful than any blow I'd ever taken to the crotch. My scream of agony told her real quick that the testicles were fragile. Best girlfriend I ever had. Capital F. My ex-wife thought it'd be fun to pour honey on my dong and lick it off. Would have been great. Had the honey not been cold and kinda non-pourable. She got impatient with it. And popped it in the microwave for a bit. Pro tip. Don't do this. Like. Ever. Unless you're torturing someone and intending to burn their genitals. 50 stroke 10. Do not recommend. Even cold. Honestly anything that sticky ends up being a pain in the ass during sex. It just gets everywhere and stops lubrication. Unless you give it a good wash before penetration. Terrible dirty talk. Accused me of trading sexual favors for corn dogs. This happened almost 10 years ago and I still give him heck for it. Haha. <laughs> I saw you at the circus behind the stands, selling your pee for corn dogs again, you dirty bee. Stealing mustard packets and napkins then just throwing your trash on the ground. Many years ago my then GF wanted to spice things up with some massage oil. I was okay with it, seemed pretty tame. So she gave me a full body massage, which was nice. What I didn't realize was that her massage oil had glitter in it. I woke up late and dashed off to work without a shower. I was a cable TV tech then and the whole staff fell over laughing the instant I walked into the break room. I had colorful sparklies all over my face and arms. I rushed off to the bathroom and washed up in the disgusting little sink. Thank you. I laughed my butt off at that. Mainly because I could see myself doing the same thing. If my so ever gave me a massage, that is, and had sparkly oil. My ex tried fingering me, which was fine, until he decided it would be hot to surprise me by switching from that to full on fisting. I have never been in excruciating pain like that before and I wish it on no one. Holy god and frick I don't even have a vagina and reading that second hand hurts so much. I am so sorry that happened to you. Not in bed but my friend told me that her and her boyfriend were making out in their car and in an effort to try and spice things up she tried to get on top of him while he was in the driver's seat. She sat on the horn and scared herself shitless. And scared herself shitless. I hope for both the car and him that this was not meant literally. A favorite story of ours, her friends had convinced her she should talk dirty while we had sex. Her first try at it one night something like oh. Baby, really pushy penis in my vagina really hard I chuckled a little bit. Um, I appreciate the effort, and I'm all for dirty talk if you'd like, but if you're going to talk dirty you kind of have to use dirty words. Oh, baby, really pushy penis in my vagina really hard. Oh, baby, exert heavy force along the longitudinal axis of your genitalia through the interior diameter of my vagina. We were young and both inexperienced. And neither of us had performed oral sex on anyone. I went first and fumbled through it. Then it came time for her to grab the mic and sing karaoke. She actually blew on my penis. Air from her lungs shot up my urethra. It was the damnedest, weirdest sensation. Would not recommend. My fiancé was trying new BJ motions and accidentally figured out how to give me a BJ that puts me to sleep. If she does it that way I'm guaranteed to fall asleep in tranquil bliss. I have trouble falling asleep so this was a great discovery. So blow you to sleep now that's freaking new. I don't know what the frick it is, and I am always thankful, but I've had like 3 or 4 women try and either eat my butt or stick a finger up there and I'm like it's not necessary, don't worry, I'll cm, I don't need this. Also how about asking first, I'm incredibly hairy and there's nothing about my butt that's particularly inviting but frick, they just go for it. We were drinking bubble tea, boba, whatever and she sucked my dong with tapioca in her mouth. Misguided and strange, yes. Felt great, also yes. My guy I know what I'm doing this weekend now. Not a misguided attempt, more of an accident. I was new to the whole sex thing and went down on my girlfriend and turned out I ate her butthole not her pee because I was just blindly licking. Turns out she really likes it. I had a girl ask me to call her names like S and W in bed once. I happily complied, 
but unfortunately escalated by providing supporting evidence for why I was calling her a s. Pro tip, fellas, do not do this. Oh yeah, you're a dirty s. You're the kind of floozy that would suck Nathan's dong behind the bleachers at lunch because you didn't think anyone could see you but then his girlfriend found out and keyed your car you nasty b. First New Year's together, my ex and I get down and dirty, and end up doing anal. Afterwards in the bathroom as we're cleaning up he asks me if he can pee in my butt, still feeling lizard brainy after some good sex. I agree. About 10 minutes later I rush to the bathroom because I almost shat myself due to the pee enema I had just received. Yes, I thought I got it all out before going back to the room. I once brought a girl home from the bar, and we proceeded to get frisky. She was on top of me, and asked if I wanted it rough. I didn't didn't wanna say no, trying to match her adventurous, so I said sure. I had my eyes closed, and opened them to see her with her fist cocked back, and a big crap eating grin on her face. Before I can react, she punches me, closed fist, square in the jaw. I was not expecting that. She was trying to rob you bruh. My current BF thought it would be a good idea to slap my evolver very hard. Sex was over immediately and I asked him why the F he would do that and if I should slap his dong that hard. He definitely got that from P. If I should slap his dong that hard, it'll just bounce around like a doorstop. Try it. This was totally unintentional, and definitely was not meant to spice things up but it ended up being this way. My partner and I were hanging out at home one night, making dinner, watching TV, etc. Fast forward to the bedroom, I start feeling some general discomfort down there, and all of a sudden, severe pain. Turns out, he hadn't washed his hands properly after chopping bird's eye chili peppers. Definitely didn't need that kind of spice in my life. Way back in the day, partner was into bondage. I'm blindfolded, naked, and have my hands handcuffed behind my back. Partner leads me into his room and sits me down on this top heavy wicker basket that was narrower at the bottom than the top. I did not know what I was sitting on, nor that the balance was way off. In fact, I couldn't feel myself falling, blindfolded, until I was past the point of being able to save myself. Ate crap on the tile floor, at least had the presence of mind. Once I realized I was falling and I had no idea where he was in the room, to turn my head so I landed on my cheek. Had a nice bruise for about a week. That's a super crappy dominant. My wife inserted a finger into my bum during a BJ. I didn't want to ruin the moment so I didn't say anything. I guess I'd failed to mention that I don't like having my anus touched. She knows now. We decided to try using a butt plug for the first time together and he started pushing on it and I ended up having to ask my brother to take me and my BF to the hospital because I had a butt plug up my butt and couldn't get it out. I've posted about this before a while ago, so here it is again. I met a very nice guy off of Tinder. We had a couple dates and then he opened up the fact that he was a virgin by choice, but had done pretty much everything else but actual sex. I respected his decision and figured he was at least a little bit experienced with other things. So one night I go over to hang out, and things get a bit hot and heavy quickly. We are making out. He's feeling me up outside my shirt. I can tell he's aroused. And then this man starts dry humping the outside of my leg with the force and speed of 1000 sexually oppressed chihuahuas. I didn't realize that his experience only specialized in dry humping like a jackhammer. I was mortified. I desperately tried not to laugh and escape at the same time. I guess the dude finally came or something but he finally got off me and was dripping sweat and asked if I liked it. I just laughed and said it was different. Dry humping when you say you are experienced is not fun unless you are specifically told to dry hump like that. My girlfriend in college, swear to god, creeped into bed while I was naked and awake but only kinda. Started rubbing my butt and then swiped in my butt crack at my butthole and then I heard her sniff. I was really scared. I've had some rough sex in my day. That's all fine and dandy, but never. In the history of can we try getting a little rough followed by a cute wink, has anyone expected to be subsequently open hand slapped super hard in the face? Please, ask your partners if it's okay to slap them in bed before you slap them. Unexpected slap to the face is no good.
I had a girlfriend who spoke English as a second language say slap me. She thought it meant the same thing as spank me. I thought it meant slap me across the face. I didn't slap her super hard because she's tiny, but definitely got full contact on it. She looked like she was going to kill me after. First time my girlfriend and I were able to be alone to have sex since we had started dating. We had sex prior, just quiet, at your parents house sex. We decided to get all the Jimmy condoms to spice crap up and have just a great time. Trojan fire and ice made my dong go soft. She tried to suck it to make it hard again and fast forward to her with a numb mouth. Me with a numb, floppy dong. Both hysterically laughing that we totally ruined our first chance at loud. Let it all go sex. Two years later, we still look back and laugh at this all the time. It's times like these that build bonds relationships, I swear. Comma at your parents house sex. I'm a little weirded out that you had sex at my parents house yo. A guy once told me to get wet, be as he was going down on me. I think that was supposed to be a form of dirty talk. I was very in focus the rest of the time. I did something that kinda ruined the mood once. Me and my girlfriend at the time, we were young and she was my first, were fooling around when I had this idea. I went into the kitchen and put a handful of ice cubes in my mouth. I came back and went down on her with my now cold lips. She likes the feeling so I took it further and pushed all the ice cubes up her with my tongue. It was so cold inside her we had to stop. The ice cubes wouldn't come back out so we had to sit and wait while my girlfriend defrosted. She was like a leaky tap for 20 minutes. We laughed about it the whole time. Not me, but a friend. His GF wanted to try something to literally spice things up, so she put a blindfold on him and a few seconds later she was going down on him. Before he knows it, he said his dong felt like Satan himself was fist fricking his dick hole. Turns out, the crazy bee put some Tabasco sauce in her mouth and spit it in his pee hole. Fricked up thing is he stayed with her for two more years. Greetings other a dick tucker. He bit my nipple with such, pretty sure unintentional. Force he made it bleed, after he came, cause I didn't. He then picked up a banjo from under his bed and began serenading me. Naked, all I could think of was how he was going to need to dettle the back of the banjo after. I didn't see him again, although ironically the lack of keenness was mutual. I wonder if was meant to have been more impressed by his prowess. I've had a number of dates attempt to play the guitar at me immediately afterward. Generally it means they are never to be heard from again. This is always unexpected for me and I am probably in the minority, but I don't like having my balls touched, squeezed, licked, anything like that. The worst thing for me in bed is when you have a good mood going and some wrong words or a sudden, uncomfortable feeling jolt you out of it. These Idaho hairy boys are just for show, thanks. He flapped the blanket like it was a pair of wings and screamed I'm a pterodactyl. Some guy in college hummed on my pee while going down on me. With no music or background noise, it just felt so awkward. I almost started laughing. It obviously didn't do anything for me. We fricked. I faked it to get it over with. P was raw. I was 19. ETC. I'm trying to go to bed and he gets all frisky. Asking if I want a round 2 and does a lil hum and I dang near lost it. I've gotten such mixed messages on this. I know that when an ex made slight humming noises, like moaning, but with her mouth closed, while sucking my dong, I definitely felt the vibrations through her lips and the sensation was quite nice. I would guess that the same principle could apply when eating a woman out, but I wouldn't actually know. My ex and I had a great sex life as we tried all kinds of things. However we never did dirty talk. One time she wanted to give it a go. So she started. Ah shatj, ah shatj, ah baby, ah baby. I stopped thinking I was hurting her. I asked, what what, what did I do? She just sighed and said, never mind. After half a minute I figured out what happened. We laughed and continued the sex. I'm deaf on one side so my hearing's pretty horrible and I often mishear things. Whenever my partner tries to dirty talk in bed I always have to ask him to repeat himself which kinda ruins the mood. He has a habit of whispering into my deaf ear. I can't throw this story in here. Moved in with my girl and a friend things were going pretty well for a while then it became like a weird sitcom where we had an adult son. Anyway we were having an indoor date night just the two of us. You know wine, 
candles. I cooked etc etc and our man child sent out for the evening. So dessert comes around and I've made profiteroles with chocolate sauce. At this point we have probably had the best part of two bottles of wine and we start messing around. I wipe some chocolate on her face playfully. She then asks me to lick it off, which I do. Nothing too mad there. She then drops a little on her chest and says lick it off I oblige. The next thing I know my shirt is off and we're licking melted chocolate off of each other, which is great by the way try it if you haven't. The chocolate is solidifying slowly as she tells me to pour some on my dong. In my drunken excitement I can't get the chocolate out of the pot so I instead dip the tip of my member in the sauce she then happily sucks it off. Things get more intense and we end up banging right there on the floor before even eating the profiteroles. So we finish up and she decides she wants to keep the profiteroles so in the fridge they go sauce and all. In hindsight maybe a little weird. About 4.30am I wake up to the sound of the microwave going off and a drunken roommate singing stolen profiteroles are my kinda thing. Hopefully he was late on rent. She asked me if I was too drunk to remember things and I said yes because I wanted to know where that was going and then she started calling me daddy. Clearly you weren't drunk enough. She said verbatim in a little girl voice oh daddy, are you going to see MCM for me? Wheaty please daddy, make me see MCM. I stopped in mid thrust. There was no continuing after that. I fricked a guy that did the same dang thing. He used a voice like he was talking to a baby, while calling me baby. It was so awkward I broke my rule about faking an orgasm just so I could get the heck out of there. I ignored all his calls, and he left voice messages that ended with call me back. Wetty weiss. XGF had a yeast infection so said we shouldn't have sex during it, then came back with a natural cure for the yeast infection to slather my dong with yogurt and we had sex like that. Had to reapply a couple of times. It was a weird experience. I don't know if I'd do it again. I hooked up with someone once who seemed far more experienced than I and had a lot of toys. I suddenly found myself learning what it feels like to have anal beads pulled out of you like they were the pull cord of a lawnmower. Let it rip. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.